Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be a very exciting video and honestly, I figure maybe I'll jot down some points finally, maybe like write down what I want to say, but that wouldn't be me. I never script my videos. Everything is just on the whim, like just comes out of my mouth. But I have a really exciting announcement to make and no, I am not engaged because I am already obviously engaged because I feel like a lot of people think, oh, are you engaged? Or the next thing is, oh my gosh, you're pregnant. No, I am not pregnant. I do not plan to be getting pregnant anytime soon and definitely not until after three more years, so. No pregnancy, but my exciting news and just something that just is making me have so many butterflies that I feel so sick to my stomach right now is that I got to collaborate with Draw Cosmetics for a lip color. I cannot believe it. I have a brand collaboration and I am just, I am still in shock. I'm taking it in. It's hitting me finally because we've been talking about this for a little over a year now. We've been doing this and I am just in shock that the day is finally here. It is so exciting and I honestly can't believe it. So let me show you the lip product. So the product color is a Supreme Lip Cream and this is what the boxes look like if you have not ordered from Draw Cosmetics yet or if you have seen it, here's a little reminder. And I came with Supreme Lip Cream and I'm really excited because this is really fitting for me because I'm someone where I love a juicy, just sexy lip, something that's not flat matte because deep down that's just not my style. So this is the shade and this is totally fitting because I'm someone where I'm a lover of pinks but I didn't wanna be too selfish and think, oh, okay, I want a baby pink because obviously I'm someone where I love to wear nudes and baby pinks but for me, I'm someone where I like to taste the rainbow. A lot of you have heard me say that phrase. It's just whenever I am dealing with makeup and testing out different things, I always want something that's going to match someone who's fair skin, light medium, to medium, medium golden, to deep, to deepest deep. Any skin tone, I want them to be able to wear this color. So I thought that this color was so suiting and the name is Destiny, which I'll get to in a second, but this is a rosy mauve shade and I'm currently wearing it right now. I'll do a swatch for you. The formula is awesome. It's not too sticky. It's super comfortable on the lips and even like the tackiness is very moisturizing. The color stays on gray. Obviously it's gonna wear off like any other normal lip product but here's a swatch right here of the shade. I'm currently wearing it just on my lips as its own. There's nothing underneath it, no lip liner, no nothing. What's great about this color and formula itself is that it's not gonna feather out and I love that. I'm obsessed with this shade. I'm super excited for it. I think it's gonna look stunning on so many of you, so I can't believe, oh, and it launched today. <laughs> Let me see when it launched. It launched today, June 1st. Wow. I just wanna say a big thank you, first of all, to Draw Cosmetics because obviously I'm not someone who has the most subscribers or followers and all of that. And when it comes down to it, I know it's really not about that. I'm not one where I'm like, oh, numbers, numbers, numbers. And they weren't either with this. They wanted this to be a really genuine collaboration. I've been friends with them for years. I know all the people there from the office to the warehouse, they are all sweet and genuine inside and out. And I, just really excited to be doing this collaboration with them. I have to thank them to really for believing in me because uh, sometimes I feel like, man, I wonder if I could ever do like a collaboration or man, I really wanna do a collaboration. And for them to do a collaboration with me makes me feel so good and I feel like it gives almost like hope and kind of like a spurt of fire with in other people because you, it means you don't have to have the most followers. You don't have to be only about numbers. It's about you, yourself as a person and what you represent and I really love that. So again, I'm just really excited for this. And another thing is I need to do a big thank you to all of you guys as well. When I first came on YouTube, it honestly was just girl time. Uh, I had no other girlfriends who are super into makeup like how I am. I always love limited edition things. I loved all the new things coming out, shimmery things, uh, lipsticks galore. I've always been obsessed with lip products, period. Uh, highlighters, all of that, you name it, I was obsessed. And I didn't really have anybody to talk to about that because if someone said, oh my gosh, like why are you so obsessed, it's just makeup, it's like, Skirt. What do you mean it's just makeup? I came to YouTube, it was honestly just start out as girl time I started. I did like a video on my webcam and it was like the worst video ever. I should probably just 
probably put in like maybe like a future video or something as like my favorite nude lip, but it just shows like when you start something from passion and just having fun, it can build into something that you would never imagine. Those things can happen and your passions can turn into your career or reality of what you're doing in your life today. So uh, just a big thank you to everybody who's always watched me, subscribed to me, commented, liked anything, even if you've thumbs down, giving me constructive criticism, anything. I really appreciate it. Like without you guys, like a lot of other people say like, where would we be? And it's honestly, it's true. It's a two way street. You try to work really hard to put out good content, but at the same time, it's you, the viewers who I wanna please. And without you guys watching, no one would watch my stuff. And I just wanna say thank you from everybody who's been there from the beginning to now, even if you're new to my channel, just a huge thank you. Oh, and before I get into the color and all of that and the background of the color's name, uh, I will be doing a meet and greet at Fame Expo this Saturday, one o'clock at the Gerard Cosmetics booth. What's really exciting is it's not just only gonna be me, it's gonna be me, my mom, Mama Whoop Whoop, which I wish she could film this video with me, but timing just didn't work out for both of us. I didn't get a chance to kind of tell her too far of ahead and, all that, but she will be there and also Glenn. So you're gonna get like the three musketeers on Saturday. I will not be at BeautyCon and I unfortunately won't be at VidCon. I cannot make those dates. If you can make it to fame, I would love to meet you because this would be really the time to meet me. Uh, I love meeting you guys. I see you guys all over and it's awesome. I, I love striking up conversations. I've seen like a ton of you like twice or three times like at random places. So I'd love to meet you guys and who watches me because obviously if you watch me, we have a connection because we do. Yeah, I'm just really, really thankful and excited and I can't believe I have a collaboration. Uh, it's just an awesome feeling. So the name of my color is called Destiny. Now the reason why I wanted to choose the name Destiny is I really was thinking about it and I wanted to deal with something that's going to be positive and with a full story behind it and something that was really meaningful for me that I can also not only have for myself, but also for you guys. We obviously all have our own destiny. Sometimes we can't control certain things that lead us to it, but sometimes we're able to control it as well. Now with my backstory is a lot of you know that my grandparents are the ones who raised me. I've never ever once met my birth mother. Uh, my father was in jail my whole entire life and my grandparents were the ones who I called mom and dad. And those were my parents since the age of three months. Growing up, it was a little bit different, not hard, but a little bit different. Not for me because honestly, for them raising me, it was the best thing that could ever happen to me. And I'm so blessed to have had them be my parents. But other kids didn't quite really understand it. So it was kind of like a little bit of a struggle on um, people looking at them and seeing, you know, someone who's older as my parents and their parents maybe don't look as old and they're like, well, wait, that's not your mom or that's not your dad or, or oh, your mom left you because she didn't love you or your dad isn't here because of this and blah, blah, blah. The, you know, it, it was... It was pretty hard. I didn't want to cry on camera, but of course I did because if you watch me, and I also have a vlog, Channel Hole with Lizzie vlog, I'm a crybaby, but anyhow, they're happy tears as well because I'm very emotional. Like it's hitting me like the lip color is like today and I kind of wish I did outline something, but again, this is from me, but I just want to make sure I say everything I'm supposed to say, but and, and it was a little bit, going on back to my backstory, it was a little bit different, you know, kids didn't understand. And I'm sure so, a lot of you actually have been raised by your grandparents or you guys are being raised by your grandparents now and it's a little bit confusing or it feels a little bit different with other kids or kids might make comments and stuff. Just know that you're, whoever is raising you, period, they love you, they're there for you and they're your guardian. So unfortunately when I was a freshman in high school, um, my father ended up passing away from colon cancer in the middle of my freshman year and about six days later, my aunt who was known as my sister because I was obviously raised, you know, we were raised as sister since that was my grandparents' birth daughter. Um, she passed away as well within six days. So it went from a household of four down to two. And when that happens, I had to grow up really fast and a lot of different things changed. Uh, my mother didn't drive, so I had to learn how to drive at a really young age. I got approved, went to the court, blah, blah, blah. I got my license super early. I was so nervous driving on the road. And and my mom, she had to figure out how to budget because now, since my grandfather wasn't there, we obviously were on a big time budget. And thank goodness, you know, he left 
us okay, um, enough to get by, and but things we did have have to budget. And before, I really didn't know about that because I was in so many different lessons and activities and traveling. So then I figured, hey, I need to take my passions and let me try to make this into a job. So a lot of you know that I did Polynesian dance and I competed a ton and I traveled and all of that. With that, I took that and I started teaching all over, teaching different groups routines and show groups and I danced in a show group and a couple of them and I danced all over, different events, you name it. And also, since I had such a big passion for makeup, I loved makeup so much. Even when I used to go to the counter, I remember my grandfather would go with me to the mat counter and just watch me and he never complained once. He'd always get me a couple goodies. So. Uh, I ended up taking like my makeup and thinking, okay, let me start doing makeup on people for prom. And I started charging $20 a person. And to me, I thought, I was like, whoa, like I'm getting $20 a person. This is crazy. Like I was just so excited. And that's how I made my money. And I was able to uh, do things that I wanted to do and afford things that I wanted to save up for and get. And it made me appreciate every single little thing that I ever had in my life. The whole thing with that being said is I could have gone down like a real bad path honestly there were so many other things that I probably could have done that were wrong and I just really focused on myself I stayed strong I didn't care what other people said and the main point of the name being destiny is that even though we all have our own destiny no matter what happens in our lives just always believe in yourself try your hardest no matter what struggles you have you're gonna get through life and I always say there's always an answer to everything. There's never a closed door. And I know a lot of you are probably going through something and you feel like you're not gonna pull through, but just know that other people believe in you, I believe in you, believe in yourself and just try really hard in whatever you're really passionate about and your dreams can become reality and they won't stay a dream. So this is why I picked the shade Destiny, just because we can also help pave our course onto our own destiny. That's why I chose the name and I hope you guys really enjoy this lip color. Uh, I plan on making a hashtag, I'll figure it out and I'll probably put it down below. For whoever you know wants to help support, I would love for you guys to support and get this lip color. I would love to feature you guys as well on my Instagram. And I hope you guys really enjoy this lip color. It means a lot to me. And I just wanted just to spread this positive message that you know, even though you may not be in a certain spot that you want to be in, it doesn't mean that you can't be there in the future. Honestly, when I went on YouTube, it was girl time and now I'm doing it as a second career. I already had a previous career before that. And it's just amazing. You know what I mean? When you just put your heart into something and you truly love something. So again, just never give up. Always believe in yourself. Even if you feel like no one else is really pushing you, just push yourself because it's going to be you that's going to bring yourself there. And yeah, and I just want to say thank you to everybody who supports this. And even if you can't get this, I really appreciate you just subscribing and watching this video, period. But uh, I'll leave a hashtag down below so you guys can tag me on pictures. It's still like hitting me. I'm just like, what the heck? But yeah, big thank you to everybody else. I love you guys so much. And here is Destiny. I'm super excited. And it's just giving me so many butterflies. Like I said, I just feel so nervous right now making this video. But it's the best feeling right now. So I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much. And I hope you guys check out Destiny. This is just amazing to me. And just thank you, thank you, thank you. Mwah.